Man, Alvarado is something else. Alvarado is something else. This guy has turned into a complete prick job dictator on the Amico Discord. People are just wanting to put their opinion out there like, dude, I know you have this garbage roadmap that you created in friggin' four minutes on Microsoft Paint while you're dropping a deuce in the friggin' toilet bowl. I get it. But here's some real questions that you might want to answer because your track record piece of trash, Alvarado, with your stupid little pirate mustache, your guy's track record is garbage. Just because you have three, four shills on internet, that nonstop shill for this thing on their YouTube channel, like Mike Molest, frigging nudging his kid to shut up about the frigging lag and keep quiet because he's under a frigging NDA and needs to frigging shill for this thing 24 seven. And you got frigging DJ Cuck, some beer drinking burp, burping piece of trash with a fat lard gut lying to everybody that hey in 20 in 2022 christmas he was telling us that he saw pallets full of friggin a pallet full of amico boxes ready to go for 2022 christmas that's how much of a liar dj cuck is right to our faces and no one said anything because that friggin amico forever chat has a stupid little uh, you need to be five weeks subscribed to chat here and everyone's scared anyone everyone is scared to say something and speak up about it because they might get banned by those friggin losers right and then alvarado yeah I, I know you got your little shill retro advisory board to to friggin put fin finances and financial terms into layman terms for a bunch of cucked boomers that don't know anything about the friggin gaming market and he got that toothless hobo Atari creep out there in friggin' Boston or wherever, friggin' uh, with his rat infested house, half bald, half long hair, idiot. He, he dyes his hair bra black and his friggin' beard is graying or it's the other way around. I can't remember which one it is. And that guy's friggin' crying on the internet saying he almost friggin' offed himself, but the friggin' and television amico saved his life. Then Scamroni felt sympathy for him, went on his live stream, and told Atari Creep the tooth is hobo. You know what, Atari Creep? When there's a game coming out, I'm gonna put you in the game. And then Atari Creep started crying like a little girl. Shut up, dude. So yeah, Alvarado, I know you have these shills around, but the real people wanna know for the, your, your track record, you're stealing $17 million. Look! Look at this comment by friggin' Goutmeister, okay? Look what Alvarado says. You are welcome to post here, but statements like I assume Intellivision has given up on the console, which is a real bummer, are not welcome. Especially when the roadmap description explains the situation regarding the console and explicitly says we intended dot dot dot. Okay, so what if someone said that? What's the big deal? It's Discord. This isn't friggin' USSR. This isn't friggin' like communism nonstop. It's friggin' America and it's Discord. We're gonna say things that you might want to might not like, but you must have the confidence, Alvarado, to friggin' uh, talk back to us and give us points instead of just deleting the comment. So, look at the response by Goutmeister here. But the roadmap doesn't explain the state of the console. That's true. It doesn't explain. It just says summer 2024 manufacturing begins, and that's all it says. It says nothing else. It just says manufacturing begins and it's a friggin' ET. It's not an actual estimate. It's a projection. It's like a, we hope it's a, we hope it happens. So you don't give actual a state of the console. Hey, Goutmeister, let me tell you the state of the console. It's plastic parts from China. It's a foot bath with stupid LEDs that you can do while you're cooking eggs to give you a laser light show. And it's got a 2016 cell phone chip in it. That's the state of the friggin' console. All right. It's in a friggin' landfill all beside those others friggin' et atari carts and uh okay let's continue on it does it does in fact not mention anything about the future of the console at all this is why i mentioned earlier that further confusion of the state of the console are bound to come up so so specifically when situations like the console showing up as a pre-order in amazon.uk yeah and it's showing up as a friggin pre-order and gamestop remember how long the friggin pre-order your amico console was on friggin gamestop the reason why it didn't get taken down so quickly because they were trying to keep it up there to see if there's any other boomer incel dummies that might just friggin take the bait and friggin put in their money order for that and then the other reason why it kept staying up so long on GameStop because no one at GameStop cares. It's the Amico. No one even knows what the Amico is. So friggin' in their IT section where people upset the, uh, uh, update the website, right? No one even knows like what the hell the Amico is. So they just left it there like, okay, whatever. This is some garbage shovelware project. Just leave it up here. And once the higher ups tell us to take it down, we'll take it on. That's exactly what happened.
Go to any GameStop and ask them, can I get a, can I freaking order in Television Miko? They're going to look at you like, uh, what, Evercade, you mean? Like, they're not going to even know what the hell you're talking about. I understand that the company is unwilling to commit to an announcement. You think? You think they're unwilling to commit to announcement? Because you know if they do commit to an announcement, that's their friggin' behinds on the line. You got Shill Adam. Everything he says in an email is vague and like thousand lawyers look it over to make sure that it's friggin' gonna get uh, passed. Unwilling to commit an announce announcement of the state of the console, but without one questions and assumptions like these are bound to show up. I came to this server for this very same reason because I didn't know the current state of the development of the console and I was hoping for an update here. Well, you hoped wrong, Geltmeister, okay? We're under a dictatorship by Pirate Ship Alvarado. He's, he's friggin' riding around in his pirate ship that's loaded down with gold bullion, okay? <laughs> it's loaded down, it's going very slow. That's why they're releasing games at a snail's pace because that pirate ship, it needs a lot of friggin' fuel to get from one place to another. You're not looking, you're not gonna get an update here. You're just gonna get a bunch of hall monitors like Mike Molest, that piece of trash, skinny, scrawny piece of trash, sitting there like a little twerp, being a hall monitor, freaking, this is not allowed, this is not allowed, I'm gonna do this, this. shut up, okay? You're playing shovelware games and creaming your pants about it. You're the one who's getting dart frenzy in your friggin' pants after friggin' I talk about Tommy Tallarico's CEO swag. Just calm down. You're the one, Mike Moles, going to friggin' Crayola and telling friggin' Tommy Tallarico that you love him so much. You hold his hand, you bring him into the washroom stall, and then play with Tommy's Tatanka. All right? Shut up, Mike Molest. Good Lord. And then the final sentence, thank you for your time and thank you for clearing things up. Yeah, guess what? He didn't clear anything up. He banned you, Geltmeister. You're removed from the friggin' server. I saw that. This, so this, so basically when I saw this, right, before he got banned, I knew, I knew Alvarado was going to ban him. So I saved this screenshot before Alvarado did it. Today, today when you see it, yeah, it's removed. The message removed. Yeah, I know that. I know. And look what... Hank Lancaster. See at the guy at the bottom, Hank Lancaster? That's actually like a loyal, like, Intellivision guy who's been there from the beginning. But he's the only one out of these loyal people that actually voice an opinion like this, right? He's the only one. So look what Hank Lancaster says. As far as we know, the console has been canceled. This is why they're doing a Miko home, which is true, which is true. That message was removed, but Hank Lancaster wasn't banned. That's the difference, because Hank, they need Hank Lancaster around, because that's actually somebody who wants the thing to come out. He wants, like, he's up for in television and supporting them, but he's the one that tells the truth about reality. So Alvarado bans Goutmeister and deletes his messages, but Alvarado deletes Hank Lancaster's message, but doesn't ban him. So that's how Alvarado is playing favorites now, huh? You scumbag, Alvarado, and Mike Molest. Probably Mike Molest has powers to, like, delete messages and stuff like that, too. You're all freaking scumbags. You always were crooks. At least Tommy Tallarico, when there was negative opinions about the Amico going on, at least Tommy Tallarico would fight it. At least he would go from live stream to live stream trying to fight it. At least he tried to make a video. Remember that 50-minute video that uh, Scamaroni said to uh, Pat and Ian? Like, let me get on your podcast. Let's discuss it. Come to my house. We'll break bread, etc., etc. At least he tried to do it. You, on the other hand, Alvarado, just ban and delete things because you're a sorry sack of crap. Okay? You worked on shovelware games your whole life. You make me friggin' sick, Alvarado. I told you. I told you guys this from the beginning. Alvarado is not safe in this. He's just as a scumbag, maybe even more than Tommy Tallarico. I have more respect for Tommy Tallarico because he actually faced the fire and tried to rant about, uh, and tried to, like, argue things, except for this piece of trash, Alvarado, who's just behind his little computer in his little command center with his goddamn pirate ship and treasure maps and gold coins, deleting messages up the yin yang. I called it from the beginning. And the people like Pat and Ian, you guys were a lot right about a lot of things, but the one thing you were what, okay, not Ian though, the one thing Pat was wrong about, he gave Alvarado the pass. I remember him saying in one of his videos, Alvarado, once this is all done, you can have a talk with me and you know, we can hang out and discuss how Tommy treated you bad. No, Pat. Alvarado's a scumbag, okay? Tommy's the one with the passion trying to make it work. Alvarado's a twerp who just took gold coins, created treasure maps, and now is deleting messages because he doesn't want any kind of pushback in the Discord. What did you expect, Alvarado? And hey, Alvarado, I'm still lurking in the Discord. I'm not going to say anything because even if I say hello... <laughs> 
Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Oh, I'm very sorry, Robert. I don't want to disturb you at all, so...